Go on, switch on. Yo, you done? Yeah. All right, cool. Go on. Yo, you gonna wipe this? Bro, it's okay, I'm clean. Bro, are you leaking and sh**? Fucking water bug? Bro, it's... Come on, bro, I'm clean. Dude, I don't feel like showering your freaking sweat, man. It's okay. Nah, bro, you must. Young motherfuckers these days don't know how to clean up after yourselves, man. Please, please! <laughs>
both. They're both easy. <laughs> so there's people out both there. Easy. Uh, right. Both easy. You lose most the people, fat, you build the muscle. Most people would say it's hard. Like for a normal normal person, right, that doesn't body build. No, hey, I need most to lose people fat. say it's hard because they're not trying hard enough. Right. That's so, it. So Ozempic has become like a miracle drug in many ways, but it's also a very, you know, Secret but who wants the crackhead look though? That's what I don't understand. That's the Why thing, you, you know. Them? These women, you know, now now listen, you, you're gonna lose the fat, you're gonna lose the fat around your face, you're gonna lose your, your fat around your glutes, in your tits, everywhere they want, else. They want the fat around the glutes though, right? I know, but what how do you do a fix? Like the Kardashian, you do fillers, oh, you get implants, you compensate, you, yeah. compensate. you compensate by doing more surgery. So oh. it's gonna be a vicious cycle of I can surgery. fix it with this, you know. So you fix one problem with another problem, and it's just going to create issues. So is, is, let me ask you, is a prescription needed for that drug? I would assume so, right? Yes. Because prescription is needed, but it's always a loophole. There's always unless, a loophole. Unless you have a loophole. Uh, yeah, right. unless you want to pay twelve to $1,500 a month. Yeah, you won't see Generation yeah. I. Per, per shot, per shot. <laughs> If, if per you're, shot, not even the whole, shot. not even the full. No, wait, no, per, per shot. shot. And how long a shot lasts? The shot uh, lasts. Every two weeks you have. I mean, if you need, again, this shot ex- exists from the obese people. It's, it wasn't for normal people. If right. you have, if you have high BMI as an obesity, which is a nutritionist accepted, you are obese. They can give you and. Mostly sad part is insurance company accepted. For obesity. For, for obesity, for anyone, you know. So right now, so many insurance companies not accepted insulin, but they accepted these drugs. Really? Right, right. And, yeah, yeah, the reason also is, like, if, I, don't know, I don't know the regulations, but I know that it's a very cheap drug when you have insurance. Mm. So in other words, hundred bucks. If you have insurance, it's hundred bucks. Actually, I heard it's less than that. Yeah, I mean, depends it, on your insurance. It's actually less than that. I heard that if you have a private insurance, insurance, depends on your insurance. Yes. Yeah. I, mean, you, the I, have, and the I have a lot of my clients comes to me and ask me, should I take it? I can't take it. My doctor, my doctor offer me really? to use it, and I say no. If you take it, you cannot work out. You cannot eat properly. You cannot building muscle. You cannot back to the normal life as a eating at least five times, work out hard, and lost fat and building muscle. I would say the, the only good thing on that is, uh, you young guys, if you are dating a girl that's taking Ozempic, uh, she's going to be a cheap date, you know, because she, <laughs> she can't eat much, you know, and she don't take bigger dumps than you. I always had a problem with a girl that takes bigger dumps than me, man. It's always an issue, man. I don't want your mohom bigger than me. <laughs> Wow. I'm the Mahong in the house. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, that, that's a derogatory word, too. <laughs> but I don't think it's a, such a drug as bodybuilders use it. Because they, no, shut down, no. they shut down your appetite. So yeah, bodybuilders it, it's, actually it's, use it? I, I say this is not the, such a drug oh, as okay, the yeah, bodybuilders yeah, use yeah. it. They shut down your appetite. Mm-hmm. Bodybuilder has to be eating seven yeah, times but, a day. Yes. Not, and not everybody wants to be a bodybuilder. There's people out there that regeneration iron that are big. They want to be slim. They just want to be very slim and look good for the camera. Some people that look good for the camera, they, you believe it or not, you look at them in person. Yes, they, yes. I mean, the first time when we met people like Bradley Cooper, we met all these actors in Hollywood where we were producing these movies, and we noticed they were like 150 pounds. 160 pounds. These guys are super, super light. Very slim, yeah. Very slim, like 180 pounds. But on camera, they look much larger because, you know, there's yeah. optical illusion. Yeah. They don't stand next to you, obviously. They'll stand next to you. It'd be a different story. Yeah, you know? we're going back to the old 90s model look, you know, looking all crazy like Kate Moss. Remember those days? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Throw I back. doubt it. I doubt it. Throw you back. Know. No, no. I'm just I don't wanna, that that's what's going to get you to. I don't want to say I remember. <laughs> I, I don't remember what's talking about. <laughs> I'm too young that for that. was the look. Now, you know, social media, it glutes. It always changes. You know? Yeah, it always changes. Body's going cycle. At the end of the day, it's... Uh, so is it, you would advise that a physician just... Or someone, you know, skilled. If you're obese, if you actually need it, it's different because right. you have an eating problem, you know? You can't wait you can to stop. eat. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's one of those things uh, restrict your eating. So, yes, obesity, of course. But then, again, obese, you're going to lose the weight. It might create another issue, but you worry about that later. Lose the weight, stay healthy, you know, fight your, your heart disease or it's, whatever else. It's good for obese people for if you have an uh, eating issue, you cannot control yourself. No. But it's not good for using be a fit, using for a your camera for one shot. 
You know, it's not good for, it's not good using as a way Kim Kardashian use it. it if, you, if you're sick as a weight-wise, you're more than 250, your, fi- your height is 5'5", five, five, or 300 pounds, you cannot breathe, you cannot walk, you cannot do, you cannot do anything, this is, this is the way. Shoot but away. Yep, shoot but away. if you want to be, if you want to be fit, six-pack, for summer, don't do it. This is the not right. Or, or way. if you're even an athlete, if you're even yes. an athlete, your performance is a window just to have that look. Yeah. So I wouldn't recommend that for any athletes, anybody that's young, um, at all, at all. Yes. You know? We got actually a question in the email. People wanted to get your opinion on something. I don't know if you want to talk about this, but they saying terkesterone versus Anavar, pros and cons. Pros and cons. What is what is terkesterone? What is Anavar is a steroid, obviously, right? What is ter- terkesterone? It's I heard it's a uh, hormonal animal uh, steroid, or from a or, like liver king. I'm sorry, it's yeah. not it's not liver king stuff. No, <laughs> are you sure? It's, liver sorry, king endorsed this. No, no. Let me, say, let me rephrase it. It's a, <laughs> hard, <laughs> it's a hormonal steroid from a plant. Um, that's what I heard. It a is. plant-based plant? steroid. I'm good. <laughs> take my Anavar so Anavar wins and that's true oh, <laughs> I mean it, it has the incredible ability supposedly to increase strength performance growth and um, I, I want to know the, the uh, side effects what are the yeah. side effects at the end of the day they're getting the same exact side effects as Anavar yeah, yeah. I'll go with Anavar and allegedly it um, doesn't have the same side effects where like hair, hair loss you know, oh, those I'm, kind of side I'm all right <laughs> So that's what's what I, up. What's, what's, what's so I don't know what what other information is out there, Vic. But you know, it's it's a hot topic right now. That a lot of people are asking questions about it. They want to learn more about it. They think that 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 this is like a new steroid that people can go to. It, maybe um, it's not new. It's one of those that people just started using it again. A lot of steroids are not new. People just find different ways to find use for it. But um, again, is it going to be effective enough to build enough muscle? in a short period of time, or is it one of these drugs that you have to take for a longer period of time to expect mm. the muscle? So Anavar if, wins if, over Turkish. Yeah, if, it's, if someone wants to use such a thing as Anovar, it's the best option, because Anovar using for a while. I mean, you, you know the side muscle, effect, right? you know the effect, you know how's the work, you know the dosage. So many people from different uh, uh, location of the geography, from different uh, genetics using it, and we know exactly how's the work. So why you have to using such a thing? We don't know. What's this? It's like a, a room, a dark. So open the door, go to darkness. You don't know what you get. You understand? No. Well, that's, so, how new, well, that's how new things get discovered, though. Sometimes Ana, right? Anawar is more, more safer, established, established. more established. Right. More established for, uh, at least for people. By the way, we don't endorse none of that. It's just only for those who want. Yeah, it's oh, just oh, feedback for everybody. Not again. an endorsement. We don't endorse none of that stuff. No, we no, have no. to reiterate that it's not an endorsement. Yeah, we want to make sure. <laughs> yes, yes. So, your opinion, our Anavar wins over testosterone in that situation for muscle yeah. building, right? Yeah. Well, you know, Jerry Brainham also on Straight Facts had a lot to say on on topics. So, you guys stay tuned for that that topic as well, or tune into Generation I. We have it all covered as well. And then one more question from the fans, actually. They yes. want to know, in a simple terms, can you explain what carb cycling is? Carb cycling. Yeah, how does it, that work? Well, you basically start lowering your carbs on your diet. I remember we, when I dieted with Chad and also uh, Chad Chris. Nichols. Yeah, with the Chad The guy we just spoke about on the last episode. Chad, Chad's my man, you know. So, <laughs> so him having that beef with Sean Ray and, uh, you know, I, I'm always uh, going to, you know, root for Chad. Because Chad doesn't really go at anybody. Sean Ray does. That's the difference, you know. So the last episode that we spoke about, his son stepped up for his dad. I would do myself, uh, also myself, because Chad just wants to work, and you don't want to taint his name. So going back to the dieting part, Chad would carb cycle, depending exactly? where you are in your diet. You know, if lowering your carbs didn't work well enough usually we will start with about 200 300 grams of carbs go down to 150 we have gone as low as 200 but a lot of times you staying on that steady 100 is not enough so what you do you carb cycle you do a couple of days high 
But has it got to be clean carbs or it can be the French fries? No, or, no, no. Not not bad. No, uh, clean yeah. carbs. Like clean carbs, slightly. Steamed cycling. white rice. Yes, yes. Baked potato. Clean carbs, slightly clean. Uh, again, that would shock your system in order to psych it out, in order to start burning the fat. Carb cycling does work for me, might not work for everyone, but when you do steady carb dieting and it's not working, try carb cycling, it could work. So you lower it, lower it, lower it, and then you bring yes. it up again. Yeah, so you have like three days low, you have two days high, or one day high. Two days low. And what does it it depends. Do? Do you burn fat this way, or what? what yeah. It? Again, that's just psyching out your body as you would changing your exercises, changing your cardio, changing everything else. So Car- it's carb- a shock to your system. Yeah, carb cycling is like a uh, imagine it's sponge, put it in the water mm-hmm. and squeeze it. Put it in the water so and on, squeeze off, it. On, so off. a water, a water is a carbs sponge in the muscle. So every time, every time you, you eat carbs that goes to your muscle, muscles fill it up. Okay. And then after two, three days, depends. Anybody is different. Somebody is after two days flat. Somebody after one day. Somebody after four days get flat. And what's the flat? When you're squeezing, the muscle goes in. in, in. Mm-hmm. Met- metabolism shut down that moment in time. And then day three or day four, which is you eat carbs, you're boosting up you your metabolism. Do you recommend this to, to... Oh, definitely. Carb cycling is the best way you can f- become fit, ba- fat burning, building muscle. It depends what you want to do. If you want to building muscle, playing with your carbs as a high, high level, exa- exactly the same thing. They started with the 500, 300, 200, mm-hmm. but playing... Going up and down. So up and down doesn't let your body holding the fat. Basically, every week, you're boosting your metabolism. So when you're boosting your metabolism, you're not holding fat. You're burning fat. You're burning fat. That means you're building muscle and you're burning fat at the same time. Nice. Oh, I remember the carb cycling days. Yeah, I think I think it's the best. I, I, lo- oh, I love. Man. Do you still do it now? Right at this it. at this point in your. In your oh yeah, my high days are Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> and then you bring it down. Yeah, you know, bring it down. You know. How much carb you take right now? Right now, it's, you don't count the problem. I don't count anything, man. You know. You know I, I eat the same thing every day. I'm just trying to get rid of this chicho fat I got right here. But I think I will start um, for April just to uh, do my own body transition and uh, to share this with a lot of the guys that are reaching 50. I think it's good to share, again, how I diet and uh, just to let them know that you can diet and still have a little fun on the side. You know? sure. is, it, is it true the carb cycling method is from the Chad Nichols? He no. invented the carb no, cycling? I hear it. I don't no. know. Is it true? To invent, you have to actually have, have to, put it out. You have to patent it, too. Yeah, yeah, patent it. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to claim that either. Maybe Sean Ray invented you know. it. Because <laughs> uh, before Chad, I was doing it with Chris. Uh, and again, who, did Chris invent it? I don't know. Again, I work with the best of the best Chris, in the industry. Chris Aceto. Yeah, Chris Aceto, yes. You work with Chris Aceto, too? Yeah, yeah, of course. Nice. Chris, Chris was... I had no idea. Yeah, was the first one, I actually... I, when I think of your career, I always think of Victor Munoz. No, no, you got to remember. You got to give credit where credit's due. And uh, sure. with uh, Chris Aceto, I won my first pro show, which was United Champions in really? uh, 2003. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and then the... I had uh, no clue about that. Yeah. Yep. Well, did, there you go. did it, and, uh, you know, but you work with the guys, see how it works out. And uh, if you feel after a couple of shows that it didn't, you know, you, you, just, you know, it's a business at the end of the day. It you is. Know, they got paid. I got paid. Everybody's you have happy. to make the decision. <laughs> and uh, I always left in good terms where everybody, like some guys work with the diet guru. You see them switching them because of one show. It doesn't work that way. You have to kind of always, you know, find your groove where you guys get to know each other. The what was di- your experience like in Kuwait as opposed to American coaches that you've had? Because you went to Kuwait. Like, you were one of the first ones, actually, kind of that went there to... Well, well, to, to Dennis uh, James, actually, was the founder of uh, Kuwait. <laughs> Dennis James, yeah, right? Oxygen, oxygen, right? Oxygen, yes. Oxygen, yeah. And Oxygen was 
one gym at the time. I believe they're like six now. There's a lot yeah. of them. Yeah. In right Dubai, now, they're too. They're Dubai. Not yeah. Dubai, Abu Dhabi. Yeah, Abu Dhabi, and they pull out so many pros now. Yeah. I think yeah. they have more, more physique pros than bodybuilders, but all in all, spread out, they have pros except women. But if you were to compare, your, yeah. if you were to compare your experience in America versus there, um, what would be the main difference? In your it's, it's a huge difference. Uh, for one... They have a community. Where they all help each other. You know, they all trained, diet. Like a team. You surround yourself with people that diet just like you. Mm -hmm. So it makes it easier. Yeah. You know, also the gym, better equipment, better equipped gym. I mean, there's everything in the gym. Yeah, you have shout massages. Shout you have the yeah. pool. You have the sauna. You have the steam room. Cold bath. Shout, shout, out, plus, shout, out, shout out to Bader Buda. Yeah, Bader. Yeah. 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 And he, plus. He Plus, Kuwait doesn't have any bar, club. No, no, bar, distraction, no distractions. No distractions. You don't, yeah. You no. Know? Yeah, we filmed, uh, what he was saying is we filmed with, with Bader and his team for Generation 9 and 2, and it was incredible what, what you experienced there, right? Yeah, it was great. I mean, we had, um, we went, every, every floor has a, like, it's for a different uh, body part. Yeah. Uh, I'm in Kuwait, um, and it was pretty interesting. I mean, he had a, an incredible operation, a lot of support. It's like you said, a lot of, a lot of similar people in the same place, working out, Always. supporting each other. It was, it was a pretty cool Which year, Which year you was in Kuwait? Uh, I think it was like 2017, 2018 yeah. for Generation so, 9. Something like that, yeah. yeah okay. we documented, that's when I was there. We documented uh, Bader <clears throat> and the entire Oxygen team. Brendan Curry was there at the time. We just got um, there. This actually. is when Big Rami was with Bader as well. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about it. He was with uh, yeah. Was yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the first so one. Yeah. I remember yeah. that's when they brought him over uh, 2013. I competed with him at the New York Pro. Right. So we, yes. we were there with the, with the, with the entire team. Rolly Rocker, too. Yeah. Ro yes. But you know what's interesting? You have a gym like this, right? <clears throat> and then you have uh, Metroflex in Texas with Ronnie Coleman, which is like, you know, a garage with the, equipment. The, the, or the powerhouse, powerhouse in... Uh, in uh, the, the point is... Different think, levels to gyms, yeah. man. Yeah. Different levels to gyms. Well, it's yeah. just like a, a, a boutique. Yeah. There's boutique gyms and then there's shopping malls. Well, you can make the argument like there's one like Brandon Curry, right? He's has all the facilities here in the world, right? You have, he he's, does. He's from Tennessee. He has all these great facilities down there. I think he owns a gym now. Great, great equipment, great gyms all over the place. Mm -hmm. But he goes to Kuwait to train. Yeah. And when we were out there, we saw I saw Brandon, and I saw the resources that he had available to him, and I th I think it made him a much better bodybuilder. Yes, for him he, being he won out the there. Olympia, yeah. of so, course. You know, yeah. unfortunately, you can't compare to that in the states. You can't because I saw it with my own eyes, and you cannot compare the resources for bodybuilders there that you can't here. I have a question. You uh, try. You, you manage you managing few athletes. As a manager, can you manager has to be go to talk to the gym to except that athletes or gym uh, owner of the gym has to become to I think I think in Bader's case he manages the athletes he manages the athletes yeah yeah he endorses sponsors them and he sponsors basically he them. puts them up he gives them a house to live or an apartment to live next to the gym right he next think, to he the gym care. Yeah, and then he, he gives them a meal plan, and he, he gives them everything that they need, to be yeah. honest. So he becomes like their sponsor manager. Everything. Um, Eat, that's the if, sleep, train. Yeah, everything, yeah. that's if you want to go into that world and want to go into bodybuilding. You know, then now you have influencers that are bodybuilders, so to speak, right? That transition from yeah. just competing to influence, like Bradley Martin, Callum Von Moger, who's trying to make a comeback now, and many others that are just... You guys seen that Bradley Martin uh, open a new gym? Huge, huge... No. Uh, it's called it's called Zoo Culture, but he opened a new one. It's humongous. But before was Zoo too. Zoo 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 Zoo. It's the new one. Where did he open the first one? It's in uh, Woodland Hills. Woodland Hills, Hills, yeah. It's nice. And the new one is oh, like close mm -hmm. by, but it's huge. Yeah, he's he's done. Yeah. A, I mean, he's done a huge job huge. with getting another gym open. I mean, everybody showed up to that gym. I mean, it was incredible. Nice. You know? It was a pretty big gym, but you know, props to to Bradley as well. He's doing doing yeah. big things. Brandon there, Martin. Is, as he, a, is he a pro? Uh, no. No, no. He's, no. he's like an influencer. He did compete at one time. Okay. Years ago. Yeah, that's yeah. an amateur. As an athlete, do you like to work a gym like uh, Oxygen or a gym like uh, Powerhouse Steve? I mean, it, it's two different spectrums there. Yes, they are both gyms. You know, it's Steve's gym. You basically do what you have to do. You get the motivation. It's not a gym, too, actually. Steve's gym is Yeah, no, much. no. I mean, Steve's leg room is bigger than most people's actual gyms. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You know, and what I like about it is he has equipment that you can't find anymore. Yes. So I, I'm, I'm fond of 
old equipment. I love old equipment. And most kids now will not even grasp Function. the idea of what is this old equipment. It's just the functionality of this with the, equipment. With the, bicycle, great. with the bicycle chain? With the chain, you know I mean? the old Nautilus. He has the EFS. He has the, uh, I mean, the Icarian Hack Squad, you name it. That, that's what you get in Steve's gym. You have the nostalgia of the old school mixed in with the new. Now you go to Oxygen, everything is new. Mm-hmm. Right, new. Well, Eric. and that too is just like I noticed. If you go downstairs in some of the gyms, Bader has in one of his Oxygen gyms, he has spas. So there's like yeah. there's so steam, full spa. No, there's like no, pools, no. jacuzzis. That, that's what I was getting at. With you steam, can't compete against with that. the mecca. You can just you get your workout, you train your right. ass off, yeah. and now you have to leave. You have to go home. Now when you go to oxygen, just one stop there. shop. Stay there for a day. You got your supplements there. You got your food there. Right. You have your spas there. The massage there. The pool. It's mm-hmm. just you have you have equipment sponsor. Yeah, that Jimmy equipment sponsor. Not anymore. <laughs> I was to, I was no, to talk no, about no. that. Right here, I got my sponsor right okay, here. Okay, okay. Fuel Chef Frank. Yeah. Thank you, Chef. Okay, I, I have, I have a, one, one more question. As an athlete, as a professional athlete, yes. how much equipment is important for building muscle for a show? A big show, like Mr. Olympia, Arnold Classic. You mean if the athletes need the equipment to yes. prep for these shows? Yes. I mean, it makes it easier because you can, only, rubber bands. you can only do so much. <laughs> yeah, you can only do Resistant so much band. with free weights. and Well, rubber bands, I mean, for warm-ups, <laughs> whatever. But you can only do so much with free weights. And uh, for equipment, a lot of it to stimulate the muscle, help you keep away from getting so much injuries, you know. So the equipment is great to keep yourself from getting injured, but nothing's better than the free weights, man. So... You know, you could have a free weight body or machine body, and you can tell a big difference who's worked harder. East Coast Mecca or West Coast Mecca? Powerhouse or uh, gold? What do you think he's going to say? Oh, come on. Gold. Gold or powerhouse? Come on. Again, it's, it's, it's different class, different uh, motivation. East Coast, West Coast. Come on. You, you're from East, I mean, bro. Powerhouse. He's, he's a powerhouse he's all day. See. Powerhouse all day. And again, when, I, when I'm at the West Coast, uh, I love going there. But I do, I do train earlier because I want to go to the beach right after. <laughs> yeah, again. Venice Beach. Yeah, Venice, Venice Beach. Beach. You want to go to the boardwalk. I say one of the best, most fun boardwalks in the U.S. I mean, if you go to Miami, it's, it's a different kind of boardwalk. Yes. Yeah. Definitely different. You don't want to work out when you're in Miami. No. Or walk. no. You, just <laughs> you don't have party. a gym. No, no. You just want to party. You just want to drink. You know, California, boardwalk, you, you train, you go to the boardwalk, wait for the sunset. Steve's, you train your ass off for two, three hours. You eat a big fat steak, and you go back and huddle at your cold ass home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for joining us for this podcast. Join, tune in next week. Hope you tune in next week. And Better. don't forget to uh, follow us, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Thank you, guys. Peace, Peace. in Middle East.